So we about to pull up at his house and I'm like really about to fight him because you hurt my feelings one too many times. Me being a crazy person I am, I pulled up to his house. Like, skirt, skirt, park, park. I get out the car, but I don't see nobody car there. So I knock on the door. So his brother answered the door and his brother was like, let's get his brother name. Uh, Malik. Okay. So Malik, which is um Jordan brother, answered the door. And Malik was like, um, he opened the door and I was like, is Jordan here? And then he was like, nah, he's supposed to be where you at. So I'm like, where I supposed to be? And he was like, um, don't you supposed to be at school? And I'm like, no, it was a half a day where he at. I saw when he left. And he was like, he not in here. So I bust in the house. Like, thinking, like, I don't know what the hell I was thinking, to be honest. But I bust in the house. Like, y'all, the, the rage just took over me. Like, I am not like that. I don't know what happened. But I, I'm looking at every room, like, where he at. I'm going in the bathroom. I'm going in the kitchen. I'm like, he's hiding. He got to be hiding. But I didn't see him or I didn't see her. So, I'll come, like, the way his kitchen is, is like, his living room. You walk and it's his kitchen. So, I'm coming from the kitchen I get pushed like what right when I walk to the living room somebody pushed me like pushed me into like a glass table and I fell over the glass table I'm like I'm about to beat you up no you didn't just push me to a table and think this is sweet like it's not I'm about to fight you so I'm talking shit to her like what's up like what they do like we about to fight so Jordan at this point he holding me back because I guess he didn't want me to beat up his little girlfriend but he, he holding me back, and I'm, like, talking, like, mad stuff. And he, like, trying to get me to the car. So, my friends, they was outside the car. And when Jordan was pulling me, like, to the car, they got in the car. So, but me, I'm not going at gunpoint. I'm, like, let me get her. And, like, he holding me back the whole time. And her friend over there holding her back. And I'm just, like, like, let me get at her. Like, I'm about to beat her up. Let me put my hands on her because it's like that. Like, I'm, like, choking him. I'm scratching him. Like, he dropping me on the ground. Like, like, like sit down somewhere. Like, calm down. I'm biting him. I'm scratching him. I'm like, I hate you. I hate you. Like, y'all, I am going crazy at this moment. I didn't realize I was that crazy until now. Like, I literally didn't think what I was doing was crazy until me sitting here three years later talking about it. <gasps> he got me in a car. So you wanna know what I did? I climbed to the other side. I got my little ass and went to the other side to open the door and unlock the door. So I get out on the other side, but he meet me there, grabbed me again. And so long story short, they wasn't finna let us fight. And I'm just like, so after she left, she left or whatever. I'm telling like, <laughs> I'm talking to his brother. I'm like, you set me up. You know my bro. How could you set me up like that? Like you knew that was here and you let her push me. You set me up. So his brother was like, they just got here. Like they literally just got here right when you pulled up. They just got here. Girl, ain't nobody set you up. I don't even like her. They said in that. They said, no. Yeah, like, um, what I say his name was? Malik. I think I said Malik. Malik was just talking mad stuff. Like, how can you set me up? But I feel like I got set up because it was weird how when I was turned around, I got pushed. But where was she at, though? Like, I feel like I got plotted on. I'm talking to Jordan. Like, he was just, like, not trying to hear it. He all nonchalant about the situation. Like, he don't care. Low-key, he blown as hell. This is just what I felt like. He, like, by the way, he gonna watch this video and... I don't know if he's going to tell his side. He said he's going to comment his side or, like, tell y'all if I was lying about some stuff. Which, I don't have a reason to lie on nobody because, as y'all can see, I'm the one who looked at a mess. And this is the part, like, when we talk about this, this is the part where we can never get it right because I saw some, one thing and he saw something else. So, we just never, we, we always disagree on this part. But, I get in a car. He's in front of the car. My hand is on the steering wheel. And he looking at me 
Like, like, okay, I did scoot the car up, but like literally, y'all, I literally put my foot off the brake and put it in drive. I didn't press the gas pedal. I literally put my took my feet off the brake and put the car in drive, and it like was slowly driving up. This crazy a nigga smiled at me like he he was just sitting there and he was just looking and he smiled and i stopped the car and he ran jumped on the car and stumped my window out the fucking car and it wasn't even my car it wasn't that was my sister car like y'all i can, i mean i still would have been blown if it was my car but you bust my sister window on her car I was like so in disbelief. I'm like, did he really just jump on the car and bust the like the the whole front window was splattered? Like, like I don't. He not even that big. Like I don't know how his little foot did that, but he literally like stumped the car and bust the whole window out. So like at this moment, I'm flabbergasted. I'm like, what the hell just happened? Like. I get out the car, I am crying. I got out the car and the car was like moving forward. So my um best friend had to like, I don't know what she did, but they got the car to stop. All I know was I got out and I'm just looking like, oh, like yo, when I said I started bawling, like crying tears running down my eyes. I'm like, oh my gosh, like how could you do that? I was like, I wasn't finna hit you. How could you? <laughs> That's my crying voice y'all, but I'm like, I wasn't finna hit you. How could, why would you do that? I'm like, Jordan, do you, do you see what you just did? Like, you, like, do you see this? Like, oh my gosh, I wasn't finna hit you. You just bust my window. Like, you just literally bust my window out my car. The front big window. Like, I don't know. It was like, he swore up and down that I was, like, driving towards him. I guess I kind of was, but I stopped. Like, it, it, like ugh, I feel like if I wanted to hit him, I would have pressed the gas. Like, bitch, you about to die. I was not trying to hit him. So, that's the room. That was the rumor around school that I was trying to hit him with my car. And he jumped on it and bust the window out. Yeah. So, basically, it kind of, like, I, y'all, I don't know. I really don't know. Like, y'all, after is, like, the crazy part because we were so childish. It don't make no sense. But after, we get, we got right back cool. We got right back along. We, um, he went with me to go get the window fixed because I wasn't about to take my sister's car home like that. Yeah, so we, um, we went to the car sp pl spot, the, um, glass repair shop. And we got the glass fixed, but it was just, like... Yeah, y'all, that's the time my ex bust my windows out my car. But, no. So, me thinking everything good. I got the window fixed. So, I'm like, okay, I can just drive it back home. My sister, she know about it. So, I mean, the only person I didn't want to know about it was my mom. But, the friend, the friend, the friend that I was with, she is cool with my mom friend daughter so she take i guess i guess that was real cool because why the heck you running your mouth like this ain't even got nothing to do with you you just here like oh she takes my mom friend daughter that she was friends with and like like basically just like running her mouth telling her everything that just happened like i grew up with the girl that she was snitching to we we wasn't close but when we was younger like we was close so she telling her mom like, yeah, so and so daughter just did this and this just happened. So her mom called my mom telling her what happened. Me and Doug got suspended off the Chilean team, and yeah, I got. I think I was like on punishment for a long time. I can't remember. That was like four years ago. It probably wasn't nothing real serious because oh, I couldn't hang out with Jordan no more. I got kicked off the Chilean team. Pretty sure I was like didn't have no privileges to drive nobody car no more so yeah like that's the time i got my windows bust on my car by my crazy a x he crazy and i don't care but every time i tell a story y'all know i got a lesson for that story i don't talk just to talk like i'm here to 
help and teach and let y'all learn from my mistakes. So now we're just going to talk about um things that you shouldn't do or like and if you was in a situation where your boyfriend wasn't being faithful to you or you was messing with somebody else's boyfriend and you know he had a girlfriend. If you was in that situation, I'm going to tell you, don't do it. Um, it is not okay to let a guy treat you like that. If he got a girlfriend, he shouldn't be talking to you. And you shouldn't want to talk to him knowing that he has a girlfriend. So, I know in a situation, I admit to my wrongs. Everything I did, like, I, you know, learn from it. I'm well aware that I sound real stupid in this story and real dumb but you know i was young i learned from my mistakes and that is that so to help you guys learn from my mistakes don't mess with nobody who has a girlfriend for one he does not deserve you he don't deserve your love your attention he don't deserve none of that if he would treat his girlfriend like that he's going to treat you like that so therefore don't ever deal with a guy who has a girlfriend if you find out that your boyfriend is cheating on you or girlfriend don't go out and act crazy retaliate remove yourself from that situation i know it might hurt because like a heartbreak is a different type of feeling like it's just like so painful so yes i do understand that heartbreaks hurt okay yes i understand that like heartbreaks can hurt and you know we want to react on we want to act on our emotions, but uh, trust me, that is not the best route to take. That is not the best thing to do. You want to, um, what I like to do, like if I'm dealing with a situation and like my feelings hurt or my heart feel broke, I like to do stuff that I enjoy to do. Like what genuinely, gen, genuinely, 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 I think, what genuinely, I cannot pronounce that word, but I like to do things that make me happy. I like to clear my mind and just like go shopping. I like to film YouTube videos, so I'll make a YouTube video. Like, whatever get, can get your mind off that situation, go hang out with friends. Like, don't, don't be by yourself, because then you're going to go crazy. And don't go over the guy's house and try to fight him and his girlfriend and his mama and his cousins. Like, no, don't do that. I learned that you have to, I like to um, react on my emotions. So I learned that before I react, I need to take a couple of steps back and give it a couple of days. Because nine times out of ten, a week from now, I'm not going to be feeling the same way I feel today. Yeah, it might hurt, but you'll eventually get over it. Um, With time you get over things you're going to find happiness somewhere else you probably not actually because like y'all niggas not shit niggas not shit but you don't need a guy to be happy so you're going to find happiness somewhere i mean just like literally don't don't be crazy over a guy so yeah guys i'm done talking that was all for this video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more story times, all you have to do is click on my channel and I'm going to have a playlist with all my story times in it. Or if you want to see makeup tutorials, if you want to see hair videos, if you want to just see me, like, um, just subscribe to my channel and we can be the best of friends. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media, Snapchat and Instagram because who gets on Twitter? I got a Twitter. I just don't use it. But... Yeah, follow me on Snapchat and Instagram because those are the two social medias that I'm most active on. And I will follow you back, sister, because I need friends. I be bored, okay? But yeah, guys, I'm done talking and I'll catch you in my next one. Peace.